Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to our channel. I am Rof Yaseen and in the previous video we have implemented search functionality on this application. In this video we will perform update functionality. So first understand what we are going to do. When I double click on this data grid view another for role form should be populated and these values should be populated with these values and I will do update operation in this roles information form. I will not create a separate form for roles. This is good practice to reuse this form instead of creating another one. So when I double click on this one, uh, we will write code for this one to pass this role ID to this form and we will also pass another information to this form. So we can handle if statement if this form is loaded for update process then go to the database and fetch these information according to the role ID and populate that information in these text boxes and also change this save button information save information to update information. So I hope you understand the scenario. Now start coding. I'll go to window and close all of these solution explorer and I'll go there. So I wanna handle I will double click on this data grid view. So right click properties and click on this events I want to handle cell double click event cell double click event so when a user double click we will fetch role ID from this and pass that role ID into the uh, new role uh, roles form so first we'll just create int so I'll first check if roles data grid view dot rows dot count greater than zero if this data grid view contains some rows then I'll set int role ID equals to roles data grid view dot selected rows of zero dot first row dot cells of zero dot value and we need to convert this value to int convert dot to in 32 and resize a little bit done so before doing further let me make sure that we are getting correct role id or not show role id dot to string simple as that so start our application this is role id 1 if you double click on here we are getting 1 if you double click on here we are getting 2 and if you double click over here we are getting 3 so we are getting a role id is perfect so next instead of displaying this role id into message box we will have to pass this role id to this form so how to pass values between form i'll right click and i'll create two properties over here properties to handle update process so first property I'll create PROP type PROP and press tab double tab prop int role ID this property is going to be you received role ID from that form and another property I will create bool update or you can write is update okay so now we have these two properties and we will uh, pass these two properties from that form so go to this form again and go to our here so now I'll create object roles form RF or roles form equals to new roles form and now if you remember in the previous video we have write code for this new role when we click on this new role button we are simply creating object and show dialog but this time we are reloading this form for update process so I'll call roles form dot role ID look at this we can access the property we have just defined at the top now I am passing the value for this property role ID equals to this role ID which we are getting from our data grid view and I'll, I'll also set roles form dot is update 
टू ट्रू बिकॉज नाउ और फॉर्म इज लोडेड लोडेड फॉर अपडेट प्रोसेस एंड फाइनली आई विल सेट रोल्स फॉर्म डॉट शो डायलाग एंड आफ्टर डिस्प्लेइंग आई विल सिंपली अगेन कॉल लोड डाटा इन टू डाटा ग्रेड व्यू सो डाटा और डाटा बेस शुड बी अपडेटेड ऑटोमेटिकली सो इफ यू क्लिक अगेन डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस वन लुक एट दिस वी आर गेटिंग आर फॉर्म्स करेंटली नाउ वट वील हैव टू डू वील हैव टू राइट कोड इन दिस फॉर्म सो वेन दिस फॉर्म इज लोडेड फर्स्ट चेक इफ दिस फॉर्म इज लोडेड फॉर अपडेट प्रोसेस देन गो अहेड एंड सेलेक्ट वैल्यूज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रोल आई डी वील पॉसिंग सेलेक्ट वैल्यूज फ्राम डेटा बेस एंड पॉपुलेट इन टू दिस दिस कंट्रोल्स एंड ऑल्सो चेंज द टेक्सट इंफॉर्मेशन और रिटर्न ऑन दिस बटन ओके सो रोल्स फॉर्म सो दिस इज आर फॉर्म विच इज करेंटली लोडेड डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस फॉर्म एंड दिस विल जनरेट लोड इवेंट सो ओवर हियर आई विल चेक इफ दिस डॉट इज अपडेट आई एम मिसिंग द अपडेट स्पेलिंग सो लेट मी राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस फॉर्म री नेम एंड इज अपडेट क्लिक अप्लाई सो दैट इट विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली रिफ्लेक्टेड टू ऑल वेयर वेर यूजिंग दिस वेरिएबल इज अपडेट इक्वल्स टू ट्रू एंड देन यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट सिंपल इफ दिस डॉट इज अपडेट दिस थिंक एंड दिस थिंक इज कम्प्लीटली सेम ओके सो इफ दिस फॉर्म इज लोडेड फॉर अपडेट लेट मी मेक श्योर दै बाई डिस्प्लेइंग मैसेज दैट वी आर गुड टू गो और समथिंग इज रॉन्ग form is loaded for update process and if i write else statement over here to make sure that we are working or not form is loaded for insert process start your application again and click on this button over here look at this form is loaded for insert process done and if you double click on this form is loaded for update process done we are good to go remove we don't need this part as well and if this form is loaded for update process we will go to data because we are passing role id as well and we will go to database and select all of records and display that record into this form okay so i'll create using sql connection is equals to new sql connection and i'll specify store uh, connection string over here which will be app connection dot get connection string and after this i'll specify using sql command cmd equals to new sql command and over here i'll specify store procedure and then connection object so before proceeding further i'll go to sql server store procedures new new store procedure and create procedure usp roles reload data for update and only parameter we need is a role id as in a type of int as begin and int and and then right click on roles script table as select to because we want to select the whole table cut out and paste it over here because we don't need created by and created date we don't have any controls where we display this information so delete this one we only need we also no, don't need this role id because we already have this role id in our application that we are passing so after this we only need these two columns i'll specify where statement where role id equals to this role id click on execute button and you can make sure by passing one if you pass one over here and select only this part 
and execute look at this we are getting rec uh, a record of only uh, one so remove this one and click on this execute button over here we have already created this over here copy this one and go to visual studio paste it over here after this i'll specify cmd dot command type equals to command type dot store procedure and then i'll check for connection if my connection is not already opened then go ahead and open my connection and after this i'll possible uh, specify my parameters you can specify parameters over here as well cmd dot parameters dot add with value and over here i'll specify my parameter as role id and we will pass this value as the as this property because we are getting this property from here okay so i'll pass this dot role id we even don't need this this keyword you can remove this one this will understand i'm setting property so after passing this property i'll create an data table role equals to new data table and then i'll create sql data reader str equals to cmd dot execute reader and after reading i let me change to dt role i'll load this reader into my data table dt role dot load and i'll specify str so now my da data is in this data table and we uh, as we know we are reloading this information for one user so we only have one row in this data table so i'll create data row object data row row equals to dt role dot rows of what zero okay so now we have uh, this whole row if you select this one now we have this whole row into this row object and now i can uh, copy uh, i can assign a value from this row to my controls okay so i'll write title text box dot text equals to row of what i'll specify column name we're getting role title and description role title dot to string because it's a string then description dot text equals to row of what description dot to string i think we are good to go start application again and if i click on this one we are getting our information form empty and if i click on this one power user look at this this role title is power user and not full almost access to the application so our form is populated with required information the next thing we will change is to change the text of this button over here so right click go to properties and rename this to save button okay so that we can easily access this one into our code after this change controls save button dot text is equals to instead of save role information we will call update role information okay so if you start your application again new role look at this we have save information if you click on here update role information done and uh, the next thing i'll do if i click new role look at this we have this button is enabled 
but I don't wanna this enabled. This button will only be enabled when we double click and uh, uh, we reload a role over here. So I'll go to again and I'll go to properties and I'll change this name so that I can easily access into code delete button and I'll specify the default enabled property to false start again and make sure it is working or not click on new role look at this this delete button is disabled double click on this look at this this is still disabled but but we need to enable this one in code so after changing the text of this button I'll set delete button dot enabled equals to true start again double click on this one look at this delete button is enabled and if you click on this one look at this delete button is disabled okay so now our form is populated the only thing is required is to perform update information so I think this video is already a bit long I'll do update operation in the next video thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video take care of yourself Allah Hafiz Assalamu Alaikum <laughs>